What's going on guys, Expert Greatness here from IXO Gaming and today I'm gonna be running behind Gunner Jeff90 for a full gameplay. Just kidding. Um this is actually a MOA gameplay with pretty easy MOAB class, most people would tell you. Um Silencer Extended Mags on the MP7, I just got a gold. Um and then Slate of Hand, Assassin, Dead Silence to start off. Um and then not Slate of Hand, sorry, Scavenger to start off, and then Slate of Hand being the first specialist unlock, Steady Aim being the second, and Hardline being the third. Um, this was one of my last games that I got with the um with any machine gun actually, or with any gun besides a shotgun. One of the last games I played, one of the last gameplays I got. It might be the last that you see on my channel from Modern Warfare 3. I'll definitely go back to using machine guns in Black Ops 2. There's no doubt, but um. But I've been using pretty much shotguns only, and it's been a lot of fun, and I really enjoy it. And it hasn't really, like, like, it kind of sucks sometimes when you play Interchange, but, um, that's about it. Like, I can play Downturn with shotguns, it's not that hard. You know, there's, there's only, like, that map is one of the only, Outpost is kind of difficult, but Outpost and Interchange are, and Liberation, those three maps are pretty much the only ones where it's, like, really hard to use a shotgun on it. But, um, but, you know, I make it work. And, um, I don't know, it's just kind of a thing I wanted to do, because I just, I have a lot of fun using shotguns, and it kind of caters to my, the way that I play Call of Duty. Anyways, though, that's not the topic of this commentary. I wanted to talk just a little bit about the whole Call of Duty community issue that came up recently. Um, and if you guys don't know about it, I'll just give a quick rundown. Basically, Fearcrads called somebody out for asking his subs to run support for him during a live stream. Um, like, he invited subs, and then they made him run support. And, um, if they didn't, he, like, yelled at them and kicked them from the party and stuff, or something like that. And, um, and, I mean, there's, there's a lot of reasons why Fearcats probably did this. One, to bring awareness to it, obviously. Two, to, like, um, I think it's kind of, like, a way for him to say, like, this is why he hasn't got a triple mob yet. In my opinion, like, I love Fearcats. I'm not calling him out or anything. That's just kind of how I see it. I think he maybe is, like, a little bit jealous, or maybe he feels a little bit cheated. Because if he, he thinks that if he did that, then he could easily get a triple moab. And to me, that's just crazy to think about, like, getting a triple moab. I can't even get a double. And in this game, actually, um, I got my moab with, like, half half of the score gone. And then a, a few people in my party were like, oh, get, go for the double. And I'm like, ha, huh, you're funny. Because um, I'm not going to get a double moab in Modern Warfare 3. But, um, <laughs> anyways. So, yeah, that's kind of that. And... I'll, and that's not really the whole, like, th when that, when I say it's a Call of Duty community issue, it's within the Call of Duty community. That's not all the issues within the Call of Duty community. That's just the big one recently that everybody's talking about. So I just kind of wanted to give my two cents on it. And I'll do that now. Um, in my opinion, it's kind of like to each their own. Like, it's, I wouldn't, um, for example... I don't watch a lot of big YouTube, some big YouTubers' videos because it's not my thing. It's not that I hate them. I just they're not entertaining to me, but they are entertaining to a lot of other people. I don't like, I don't intentionally watch those videos, or, or you know, go not even watch them. Just like click on them to like leave hate comments or anything. I just don't watch them, or I'm not subscribed to that person because it's not my thing, you know. Um, but, but um. You know, if you if you make yourself aware of it, if you intentionally put yourself in these situations where it's like, oh, if you you know if you watch somebody's videos where they get triple mods with with a team of subs running support for them, and you don't like that, then that's your own issue. You know what I mean? Um, some people do like that, and some people don't have a problem with it. And to, if you guys are wondering, I don't really mind watching a gameplay where their whole team's running support. Although I do realize that maybe they should. Um, like in a game where your whole team's running support, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of c accomplishments are going to be made easier. If that makes sense, like getting a triple mob or something, and like, yeah. So that's kind of how I see it. Um, it's really to each their own. I just think if you don't if you don't enjoy watching it, maybe if you think it's wrong, I think you should just keep your mouth shut. To be honest, and it's, I'm not calling out fear crowds. I still have the same respect for me, and it wouldn't be like. You know, I'm just trying to make you guys clear that I'm not, I have nothing, I didn't lose any respect for Fear Crads and I didn't think what he did was wrong or anything. I just kind of feel that it's kind of to each their own, if that makes sense. Um, you know, do what you want, whatever makes you happy. Um, if you, if you would rather, you know, 
give yourself more of a challenge and try to get like a triple mod without that, then that's cool. Um, if not, then that's cool too. Um, whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever, you know, whatever you are okay with, and whatever makes you have fun with YouTube and Call of Duty and whatever, because that's really what it's all about, and people forget that all the time. But, um, yeah, that's not really the only issue with the Call of Duty community, though, to be honest, because, I mean, the Call of Duty community as a whole has been bad since the start, in my opinion. Um, but I'll, that's probably commentary for a later date. Um, so... I'll talk about the gameplay real fast. Um, I basically just was at A the whole time this mob was going on, and um, I thought I was gonna die a few times when I was trapped under that uh, in that garage there. And look at this guy—he makes a huge mistake. He just—he gets impatient and comes around here. I have him reconned up, and it's just easy mode for the last kill. Um, so yeah, get my mob there, and I don't think it was fast at all. It was like five minutes or something, but um, it's a mob nonetheless, and. Sorry, we don't have Thursday threesome this week. That's a me thing. Um, I hope you guys don't uh, don't get mad or anything. And I died, but I tried to do the air knife thing at the end. So it's legit. Trust me, it's legit. I promise. Goodbye, guys. Peace.